I'm going to discuss the most controversial and most debated amendment of the entire Bill of Rights. The Second Amendment. The right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, and saying that the civilians have the right to a well-regulated militia. <sighs> Infringe pretty much means, like, to change. And the government is infringing upon that right, and a lot of other rights in many ways. The assault weapons ban, banning things like AK-47s and 16s, etc. The Brady Bill and all that kind of stuff. It was all in the of the Second Amendment rights. And they thought that those bills would reduce crime rates considerably. They didn't. They barely did anything. One thing that they, or a lot of people don't like, is the right to carry. That thing, or that right, excuse me, in some states, violent crime rates were lowered by 40% whenever good law-abiding citizens could legally defend themselves by carrying a firearm. And actually, in Illinois, one of only two states, Illinois and Wisconsin, to not have the right to carry, there was a mall murdering massacre kind of thing. This guy killed five people, execution style. You know, someone in Illinois, the governor, whoever they are, decided that they couldn't carry them, so they bet. That's it. I bet if just one person could carry a firearm, not that many people would have died. And, it been good. But, you know, you have people like Hillary Clinton who don't want to have mandatory gun locks, raising the youth handgun age from 18 to 21, mandatory background checks, one month waiting periods, all this stuff which infringes it in just every possible way. They want to decide how, when, and if you can defend yourself with any weapon, not just handguns. But it's thanks to organizations like the NRA that, you know, had the other lawsuit and kind of stuff against the assault weapons ban that we still even have the right to bear arms at all. In fact, you know what? If it weren't for groups like the NRA, they probably couldn't even have pellet guns or anything like that. Just anything that fires a projectile, probably gone. And you know what? You can't have a good, freedom-loving country like the United States without the Second Amendment. It's just as important as the first one. And some people blame the Second Amendment on murders and massacres like the Virginia Tech. It's not true. Just remember this. People kill people. Guns don't kill people.